think of better music appropriate for this time of year. A lot of people getting married there. Vidor. And right now it's time for our little marriage. Good morning, Blackpool! <laughs> Mob, not just from Blackpool, but from all over the country. Where have you lot come from? Where are you from? <laughs> Bolton. Plymouth, even. That is a long way. They all come here to see the sideshows, the funs, the competitions, and the things that they run down here. And in fact, with us, we've got a very special guest. You can regularly see him performing here in Blackpool. Escapologist, he can get out of anything. He's not going to get out of this. Carl Bartoni! <laughs> I, I, you. I thought you are being rude, you're not shaking hands with me, Carl. Uh -huh. <laughs> a bit tied up at the moment. An escapologist is a very unusual occupation. I mean, why do you do it? Well, it is fun. We like entertaining all the holiday makers. And it's uh, an entertainment which is dying out, unfortunately, so we like to try and keep it going. Well, you've kept a lot of things going, because you've escaped from some very unusual things, haven't you? Yes. Um, well, usually we do this hanging from a crane and a burning rope, 100 feet in the air. But at Peter Jay's other circus in Great Yarmouth last year, I actually did this escape, stood up in a, a cage full of five fierce African lions. <laughs> now, you've got a bit of totally. assistance here this morning, haven't you, putting on your straight jackets? Yes, Brian. Now, in fact, this is your lady wife from our racing scene. That's right, yes, Wendy. You two got married in an unusual way, so I hear. Tell us a bit more. Well, we, uh, we wanted to do something in keeping with the occupation, and we ended right. up actually <laughs> dangling from the top of Blackpool Tower. <laughs> with vicar, <laughs> choir, wedding bells and... <laughs> I think lot. you're absolutely mad. <laughs> what are you going to do for, this, for us this morning? Well, this is a German police regulation straitjacket dating yeah. from the 1920s, and I hope to try and get out in about 45 seconds. OK, can I check a few things? Oh, sure, I mean, yes. Yeah, uh, let me just uh, no rubber grab snap. a few little bolts there. Are you all happy? <coughs> yeah! All right, I'll get the clock going. You've now got 45 seconds starting now. Carl Bartoni, there he goes, wriggling away. He said around about 45 seconds to do this. It's not going to be easy. He does escape from some unusual things. In fact, I saw him at the Tower Circus in about 15 foot of water. So he's exactly the same as this in a straight jacket, but not only that, with padlocks and bolts too. You've got 20 seconds, Carl. Not long. OK. 10 seconds coming up. Here we go, folks. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is he going to do it? Near enough. Yeah, actually, only a few little bolts and bits to go. Come on, Carl, you can do it. And I want the biggest cheer you can give me for this. It is not an easy task. Carl Bartoni, you can regularly see him here in Blackpool. Go on, Carl! Go on! Come on! Yeah! Hey, well, that was absolutely marvellous, Carl. And I thought I'd have a little go too. Problem is, I can't give you a rock now. It's a bit tied up, as they say. Well done, congratulations. Okay, hey, <laughs> thank you. All right, he's going to stay around for a little while. But right now, time for some entertainment. You can regularly see these lot, uh, this lot in Blackpool too, regularly in the shows. They're doing an awful lot of work for charity. Now they're putting on the Ritz. Will you please welcome the Coco Tots? <laughs> Thank you. 
bad luck Time step. Oh, enough of this. Right now, back to the real dancer in the show after his performance earlier on, Mr. Michael Reed. Thank you very much. The big Coco Tot in the middle there. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead right, Mike. Hey, by the way, one of the Coco Tots wants to ask you a question. Didn't you? Yeah. What was it? Have you ever been to dancing class? Have you ever been to dancing classes, Mike? Well, you mean you could tell by the way I danced with Sarah? She was so impressed. Really? <laughs> oh, I used to do tap. That's, I was treading on Sarah's toes, actually. Oh, really? Can I join the Coco Tots? Yeah, most yeah. certainly. Oh, Can you great. join the Coco Tots? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you, Mike. I love that old escapologist as well. That's quite, uh, quite weird. Chris and Neil from the Pet Shop Boys here to join us again. We're taking your calls in a second. What do you think? You didn't see the escapologist there, the guy in a straight jacket, about 45 seconds to get out. Go down well on stage well there. Yeah, right, uh, Alison uh, McTavish, obviously a great fan of yours, from uh, Balloch and Inverness. Good luck with the single, which I've got. She says also good luck with the album, which is you out soon. I can hardly wait. She's doing all the promotion for you. <laughs> yes. uh, please could you give this drawing to the Pet Shop Boys? My brother told me they're on Saturday Superstore this Saturday. If they're not, I'll kill him. Well, <laughs> your brother's safe, and so is this. Let me show you first, and I'll show them second. This great drawing. Now look, you see that? Isn't that good? I think it's absolutely superb. That really is a brilliant drawing. Isn't it? It's still it? <laughs> hey, you like that? Yeah. It's we, yours. Should we get it to keep? Yes, it's yours. Alison, would you like to so say there she is out there? Thank you, Alison. Yeah, thanks. Really is magic, that's oh, great. Are you getting all sorts of odd <laughs> <look> presents? Sour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Miserable. <laughs> Since being in the charts, do you get a lot of strange presents being sent? Well, someone sent me um a couple of girls got my phone number and I was home at, at home with flu last weekend and they phoned up and uh, I started chatting to them and I said, oh, I've got flu actually. And uh, two days later through the post they sent me some uh, lem sips oh, <laughs> with instructions on how to take them. That's sweet. My, my bank the, balance the is going down, uh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Send money. Great, that's really nice. That's smashing on. Right, let's take some calls. If you want to grab your two telephones there, we should have Lisa Weston on the line. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Um, Chiswick, London. From Chiswick. Oh, the heart of Sarah Green Country. Yeah. Right, you're through to Chris and Neil. Okay, Hello, can I... Hi, um, can I ask you, how come you never smile in pictures and in videos? Um... Well, which I just think uh, that's the kind, the kind of people we are. You know, when, when you make a video or your photographs, I think it's a kind of slight exaggeration of the kind of people you are. And, uh, or maybe it reflects the song you're doing as well. And uh, both our hit songs so far have been quite sort of moody things, where you can't really kind of uh, jump around and, and, and laugh a lot. Yeah. But uh, our next one might be a bit different. Great. People are always asking you to smile in this business. They say, smile, smile. You I'm get smiling the now? Smiling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right, thank you very much for your call. And on to Fiona Scolding. Hello, Fiona. Hello. Hello, Fiona. Hello. You're through to Chris and Neil. Hello, Neil. Hello. Did you enjoy your time working at Smash Hit? Um, yes, it was, uh, it was very good fun. I was there about two and a half years, and, you know, I interviewed a lot of pop stars, whatever. It was good fun. I enjoyed doing this more, though, I must admit. It's a good okay. magazine, though, Smash Hits, isn't it? It's, I do enjoy that. It is. Well, look, they spend a lot of time putting it together, you know. Yeah. It's, it's very professional. Also, it's really funny. That's the good thing about it. I think that comes over... What comes over is the humour of the people who work there. I think it's funny without being nasty, because it, it filled yeah. a great hole at a time when music papers were going off in a weird direction, and people needed something that was factual and poppy, yet not too straight. That's right. It's a bit like joining a club as well, you know, because yeah. you kind of get all the in-jokes and stuff. That's right. Smashing, thanks for your call, and well, Simon... thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Simon Raj on the line. Hello, Simon. Hi. Hello, you through to Chris and Neil. Um, can, I, can I ask Pet Shop Boys, were you in the choir at school? Were you in the choir? Chris yeah, I was. Were you? Was, yeah. Were you? Yeah. What did you sing? Well, I started off singing um, treble or whatever you call it, and then as my voice got deeper, I sang tenor. So Do you still remember it. anything now? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about you? Um, I was in the choir. Yeah, we used to sing things like Gilbert and Sullivan, you know, at school. Um, did you enjoy doing that? Or? Yes, I did used to quite enjoy it. We used to do HMS Pinafore, and when I was in the first form, I was in the choir, and I used to like all that stuff then. Good training for you, was that, wasn't it? I suppose so, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smashing, good question. What about you? Are you in the choir? Um, I am, yeah. Are you? Yeah. What do you sing? Tenor? Well, no, not much. <laughs> what do you sing? Are you going to um, give us a quick burst for the lads? Come on, give us a quick burst. If they ever want to be a trio. No, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> quite don't blame you either. OK? Um, can uh, Pet Shop Boys blow my sister a kiss, please? What's her name? Angie. Angie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Angie. Are you proud? <laughs> really well. well, we need that family to get on with it. Zoe Winston's next. See if we can disrupt their household. Zoe, good morning. Hello. Hello, Hello. Zoe. Hello. Um, I'd like to ask Pet Shop Boys, what happens if Chris writes something that Neil doesn't like and Neil writes something that Chris doesn't like? Do you have many arguments over it? 
It does happen. <laughs> it does happen, yeah. Get a few tantrums, you know, walk out the studio and that, but... Uh... We just, we normally manage to come to some kind of compromise. Um, actually, it doesn't happen very often, either, does it really? No. I don't know if it happened yesterday in the studio, we were recording something, we were disagreeing over a certain kind of percussion we were using, but uh, we came to a compromise. We put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I gave in. <laughs> OK, Smashy, thanks for your call. We have Joanne Marsh on the line. Hello, Jo. Hello. Hello, good morning through to the Pet Shop Boys. Hello. Um, hello. Could I ask you, um, did you have any childhood heroes? I, I didn't really, actually. I used to, when I was very young, I used to like the Beatles a lot. Um, you know, we, we, I remember we always used to sit up and watch the Beatles on the television at night, and we used to buy their records. So I suppose they were the nearest thing. They weren't really heroes, but I used to like them a lot. Yeah. What are you, Jason? No, I didn't have any. No heroes at all. <laughs> Right. Well, thank you for your question. Sorry we didn't have time for any more, but you have brought a bargain with you, haven't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. A bumper bag. A bumper bag of things, yeah. Full of goodies. Firstly... Can I, can I open something for yes. you? Yes. That's a poster. One poster. Very fast. That's smashing. Great for building wall. A boy hat. And worn by... Boys. Boys. A bottle my Chris and top the pops at three. Pet Shop Boys shirt. shirt. A copy of our album, please. Which is out when? Which is out now. It came out this week. Well, this week, is it? But you don't. what you don't get if you buy it is this special thing which it comes in. Which I can't open. Sleeve. Shall I, shall I take that out and you can open the sleeve? That's it. Great. Look. That only goes to the press, but if you enter this, you might win that. It's smashing. Yeah, let's tuck that back inside there. And also, Great. there's... 12 inches, two 12 inches. For look, West End Girls and Love Comes Quickly. A 10 inch of Love Comes Quickly. And finally. Cleaned out the record company. They had, yes, nothing mm -hmm. left. Video of um, Love Comes Quickly and West End Girls. And the last thing is this hat that Chris is wearing. That very Yeah, hat. you can have this hat as well. As, right. as worn on top of the pops. And on Superstore. And on Superstore. <laughs> right, and you have a question for all this, though, don't you? Yeah. But you can decide. You ask it now. I'll ask it. One of us comes from Blackpool, uh, where you're filming this morning. Is it me, Neil, or is it Chris? Or is it Neil or Chris who come from Blackpool, where Keith is cheeky cheggers this morning? Answers on a postcard, 2 slash Superstore, BBC TV, London, W12, 8QT. OK, on a postcard. But which one of them comes from Blackpool? Is it Chris or is it Neil? You're coming on the pop panel a bit later, aren't you? That's right. Have a look at some videos. Great, thanks for bringing all this along. Thanks. Now it's time for the telegrams. There's some live music from members of the European Community Youth Orchestra playing Fripperies. This is by Lowell Shaw.